Ele Chapo X is an album that celebrates longevity, reveals ill bliss. Bisola Iola reveals the reason behind Sugar Rush Cinema Ban. Now the news in details. Ele Chapo X is an album that celebrates longevity, reveals ill bliss. Nigeria hip hop artist Ill Bliss has revealed the inspiration behind his sixth studio album. The rapper who titled the recently released album, which is titled Ile Chapo X, says the body of work is a celebration of longevity and consistency. In his own words, Ile Chapo X is my tenth body of work. Uh, it's my tenth project since you know I became an art, an artist, a solo artist. So um, you know, hence the X. The X is ten in Roman Roman numerals. So um, so it's just an album that celebrates you know consistency, longevity, and um, it's an album for all those fans that kept following me from the first time I put out my first my debut album in 2009, um, that Ibo Boy, you know, and right all through my entire discography. So this is that this is that album for them. You know, so it's um, again goes back to you know the, the consistency I keep telling you about. Uh, but very, really, very few people have up to this number of projects. You know, but it's probably because I've been consistent. I've been blessed as well. So it's not even just hard work and and all. It's just been divine and God just blessing me to keep moving. Still speaking on his album, which doubles as his tenth body of work, the rapper had this to say when Heap TV asked about the inspiration behind the first two tracks. He stated. The first song, God Made You King, is is, is is like is like a prayer. So it's like starting an album with a prayer and saying, okay, God put me here and and God crowned you. So it's almost like, you know, celebrating, you know, the crown that God placed on your head. Um, a Hill, the second song, is a song about the times that we're living in now, which is, I mean, the, uh, with the COVID-19 situation wiping out, you know, so many people are across the face of the earth and disrupting businesses and just disrupting our lives, basically. Yeah, so that's what Hill, Hill was about. So Hill is also calling on to God to heal the earth and repair all the damage that, that COVID had brought on, you know, to the world. I didn't want to, this is the first time anybody's probably making music in a situation like COVID. So I kept thinking how I was going to start an album. I might, was I going to just start an album behaving like it was all good, you know, and just, you know, throwing out all that energy, musical energy. And I said, no, that we needed to start it from a mellow perspective so that we can also mirror what's going on in our lives. Furthermore, the veteran rapper who highlights bad governance in the Nigerian statement in a song titled Country reveals how he contributes to making Nigeria better. He says, You know, whether you're home, whether you're not at home you know because we've been in discipline it's just become such a, a crucial part of existence in nigeria we're always cutting corners we always litter the environment we, we just almost like we don't really care about the country so it's, it's cool to blame governance on and leadership on one side but you must do the right things as a nigerian you know at, at least so that you can you can appease your conscience so i really try and i try to tell people it's not just about myself i try to tell people you know, just do this, be this way, it's going to help the country a lot more, you know. The other day I saw somebody throwing, a woman put up in a car, brought a big trash bag and just threw it out at the estate gate. And I said, madam, that's not right now. If we all keep doing this, the gutters will block. She said, oh, I'm so sorry. She was embarrassed and she came down and took the bag. And it was a range. So range plus, you know, plus trash. You can imagine. It's not about the car you drive. It's, it's just the kind of person you are. The rapper who features notable song stressors, Yemi Alade Aniniola, went further to acknowledge his female fan base. He stated that girls buy records if you make them happy. Goddess and Fever are two records of the Ili Chapo X album that, you know, that targeted at my female audience. Um, see, girls buy records if you make them happy, <laughs> then your, your records sell. You know, they decide what, what's buzzing and what's blowing up the playlists. Uh, and then so oh, Superman featuring Niniola is the third song that is also targeted at my female fan base. The girls need to key into your music as well. Yeah. Il Bliss also shares what his biggest lessons have been since releasing his first album over a decade ago. 
there are so many biggest lessons. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, but very crit it's very critical that you stay consistent with what you're doing. It's very um, one of the biggest lessons I've learned being in the music industry in Nigeria is that you must stay consistent with what you're doing. Um, the competition is very fierce across board, across genres. So if you if you slack and you slow down, you just lose your spot. So it's so competitive and you should also try and make sure that you keep good relationships with people, with the people in your community, with the people, the fans and the media, everybody. Just make sure that you keep a good relationship with them because sometimes those relationships, you know, can keep you for longer in the music business. So these are, these are some of the core lessons that I have learned in the music business in Nigeria.